Give Mitch McConnell credit. At this point, he could block LeBron James. <laughs> and I have to admit, it's not easy to follow the president, man. You got some jokes, Mr. President. The president's funny. Stay in your lane, man. <laughs> it's not fair. You don't see me going around presidenting all the time, right? I don't go around passing health care and signing executive orders, pardoning turkeys, and not closing Guantanamo. You know. Oh, wait, maybe I did do that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but I am impressed with the people in this room. Um, there are so many rich, powerful people in this room. You know, it's nice to finally match the names to the faces in the Panama Papers. It's very nice, right? You know what I'm saying? It's nice to see them go together. Thank you very much. Good night. got the bright new face of the Democratic Party here tonight, Mr. Bernie Sanders. There he is. There he is. Next year at this time, someone else will be standing here in this very spot, and it's anyone's guess who she will be, but... <laughs> Well, let me conclude tonight on a more serious note. Uh, I want to thank the Washington Press Corps. I want to thank Carol for all that you do. You know, the free press is central to our democracy, and nah, I'm just kidding. You know I've got to talk about Trump. Come on. Although I am a little hurt that he's not here tonight. We had so much fun the last time. And it is surprising. You've got a room full of reporters, celebrities, cameras, and he says no. <laughs> is this dinner too tacky for the Donald? <laughs> what could he possibly be doing instead? Is he at home eating a Trump steak? <laughs> Tweeting out insults to Angela Merkel? What's he doing? And with that, I just have two more words to say. Obama out. <laughs>